Are you looking for something new to pop your garden? Well, Phil Steinhauer of Designscapes Colorado is here to show us the newest, the greatest new things from 2012 Plant Select. Yes. And these are things that are not only new, so you can have something up on the neighbor, right. but they're really drought resistant and disease and pest resistant as well. Yep, these have all been tested, so they're going to work here well here in Colorado. I mean, if you don't know what the Plant Select program is, it's a cooperative uh, group of people from CSU, the Denver Botanic Gardens, and then local nurseries and horticulturists. And so they get together and they work on different um, plants and, and select a group each year um, to put out to the market and Wonderful. for us gardeners. So these are just what the best of the best. I love this. This yeah, is so Yeah, this fabulous. is partridge feather and this is a great um, mounding silver plant, very drought tolerant. Works well with kind of the purples, blues, and yellows. This one in front right of this, I think, is a really interesting one. This is called Conna Creek Buckwheat. Oh, this is um, a bright lime green. This bright lime green foliage. And then it actually has this really nice dense mat down below. And it's, mm. again, very drought tolerant. Mm -hmm. um, but will take some water, too. So it's good for a, a xeric garden as well as one that maybe has some irrigation. Um, down in front here is again a silver tin penstemon. Um, this is the purple. Um, this also has this silvery foliage and again will do great in a xeric garden. Um, I think another, if we kind of can go down towards the middle of the table. Down here, down in front. They've brought out a lot of uh, hardy ice plants. Um, the one you're holding is a lavender ice plant. Um, and then the one right next to it, and it's real little, um, is this fire spinner and this is a 2012 introduction right here and again it has this purple orange flower let me um, lift this one up it's kind of hard to see that one's called mesa verde um, you did such a nice job putting all these signs on so people can jot them down if they want so i want people to see that one that's very pretty and then the purple one here is table mountain ice plant Maybe you've seen the um, the catmint in gardens. It's blooming right now. This is a lower, more compact version. The ones tend to get pretty big, oh, the, okay. the walkers low. But this little Trudy is a dwarf version of that. Down to our last minute here, Phil. Okay. Um, a couple others. This Corsican violet is a great violet. It's so hardy as can be, self-seeds, great in a rock garden application, um, but a great little uh, plant. Then there's a group here of the gazanias. The one you're holding here is this tanager and then the Colorado gold. And these have been around for a while. Uh, the Colorado gold is a little bit more hardy, has an evergreen foliage, so that's nice. Is this a forget-me-not? It is. And then this is a, this year's introduction. So this is called a cape or summer blooming uh, forget-me-not. A little bit different than the other forget-me-nots. It'll take sun. Um, and pretty much blooms all summer. And blue's a hard color to get in the garden, so this is a great one. Very pretty. Oh, and I love this. What is this? This is actually one of their first introductions, and this is Turkish Veronica. And this will have a blue flower for probably a month and a half, great around step stones, very drought tolerant, um, just a great plant. And it's probably the most popular of all the plants, oh. uh, of the plant select. It was one of the original ones, and it's probably sold the most plants. Well, we are out of time. We had to rush through those, Phil, but an, you did a nice job showing people what's out there. So if you're interested, if you're looking for something to put in your garden, take a, a, a hint here, take a clue from, uh, a cue that is from Phil. These are great suggestions.